Today we'll have a brief discussion about customary units of measurement compared to metric units of measurement. The two topics we'll discuss involve length or distance and also liquid measurement. When we use measurement, it depends on whether we want to use the measurement that is frequently used in the United States, which is called customary measurement. This is inches, feet, and yards. Most of the world uses metric units of measurement. This would involve centimeters, decimeters, and meters. You can see on the ruler below that it shows both inches and centimeters. One inch is about two and a half centimeters. One foot which is 12 inches, is approximately 32 centimeters. So one yard, which is 36 inches, would be about 96 centimeters. But let's look at it in the reverse direction. One meter, which is 100 centimeters, is approximately 39 inches long. I know it's a little bit confusing. You might want to listen to this section again. And what would really help is if you took a ruler or a meter stick or a yardstick and look at the dimensions as we talk through this problem together. Our next topic is liquid measurement and we'll keep this fairly simple. When we think about ounces, that is a customary unit. We use that in the United States. But most of the world uses milliliters. An ounce is greater than a milliliter. They're both quite small, and we'll see that in a moment. But an ounce is a little bit larger than a milliliter. Likewise, a quart is slightly more than a liter. A quart has four cups in it. That's 32 ounces. A liter does not quite have four cups in its measurement. But let's look a little closer at these two measuring cups. The one on the left is our customary unit of measurement. But you can see that the number system is a little bit more difficult. Yes, it's incremental. Yes, it's increasing by fours, the ounces. If you notice the ounces, there's four ounces, eight ounces, 12 ounces. It's increasing by units of four. However, it's difficult and you must remember the customary system to understand a measuring cup like this. However, if you look at the metric measuring cup on the right hand side, you can see that there's increments of 50 and increments of 100. This method of measuring is much clearer and simpler. And probably that's why most of the world uses this metric system for measurement. So let's get a comparison of what a milliliter really looks like. The beaker on the left hand side has about one milliliter of colored liquid. In the center, we have 10 milliliters of colored liquid. And then on the right hand side, that's 100 milliliters of blue water. But what does that all mean? Let's put it into context with some things that we actually understand and use quite often. I'm sure these products look familiar. And I know that every one of you has used a water bottle of some sort in your lifetime. The bottle on the left is not quite 
250 milliliters, which would be one fourth of a liter. It's not quite that, but it's close. The bottle in the center is 500 milliliters. It's exactly one half of a liter. And the bottle on the right is 1,000 milliliters, which equals one liter. Most often, if you have a party at home, you might have soda bottles that are two liters. That would be 2,000 milliliters. But this water bottle is exactly one liter, which equals 1,000 milliliters. In closing, the focus of today's lesson was deciding what type of unit to use when measuring or comparing items. Should you use centimeters or meters? Is the object you're measuring small or is it large? Likewise, if you're trying to find the unit of measurement for liquids, is it ounces or milliliters? Or should the beverage or fluid be measured in liters or quarts and even gallons? So always focus and think about what the object is and what would be the best choice for the unit of measurement.